Hello all, uh, this video is going to be on uh, systemd, uh, a component called nspawn, systemd-nspawn, and uh, how to run Firefox in a uh, systemd container, uh, nspawn container. Uh, it took me a while to figure a few things out, and it's this is not uh, completely comprehensive, uh, so you may find certain things that might not work, or they may work. And uh, I'm not going to get into the uh, system D units and stuff like that because it requires uh, networking. And as far as I can tell, I couldn't get it to work with the wireless adapter that I have. Uh, so nonetheless, I made some notes uh, just to follow along and I'll upload these. Uh, to get it running, all you need is uh, system D is already in the latest Arch Linux install. So uh, sudo pacman dash capital S and you want the Arch Linux install scripts and xorg xhost and optional I tried this and it seemed to take it was the xhost that you download plus localhost it took it and then uh, you can echo the display and export usually equals uh, dot zero and then we just make a directory anything you want but for example, I just call it container, and then we pack strap with the Arch Linux install scripts, the base, Firefox itself, and Zorg. And a lot of it's probably overkill, um, but it you see, it works with that. So um, open a terminal, or you can do it through your home folder, you know, make a new folder directory, and then we just issue this command. And uh, pack strap pack strap as you would when you install and the uh, different uh, flags to the container whatever you called it if you call it container and then the, as we mentioned the packages so I'll just copy and paste this in the terminal remember sudo and press enter and it will synchronize the packages from your actual uh, pacman configuration file and it's interactive so it'll ask if you want to download um, each set and it's uh, close to a gig when it's installed as you can see the xorg is overkill but it works and I'll, all the fonts <laughs> and there you go it's uh, close to a gig as you can see here so I'll be back when this is uh, finished up it's just like sorry before I finish before I uh, leave it's just like installing Arch Linux but in a container all right so that's over with <laughs> And just to get straight to it, so I don't waste your time, is uh, this is a code uh, set environment display X authority. Make sure that's in your uh, home folder, but it will run as root, okay? And then just point to your directory container, and then finally it runs Firefox. So I'm just going to copy this and arrow key to there. So I'll copy. Okay, again, I'll put this in notes. Clear this screen, paste it in, it should look like this. Okay, make sure you get the exact, don't have any uh, white space after Firefox. Okay, it should like, look like that and then just press enter and you sh Firefox should run. There you go, Firefox for the first time again. Uh, the fonts don't look so great, I haven't looked into that or anything, but for, uh, for all intents and purposes it is running inside the container, which is pretty cool. So I'll close that, and once you're done, it's ended, it's gone. And uh, you go to your home folder, wherever or wherever you made the container, you can see it's here, and properties, it's uh, a gig, and open a terminal here, and sudo rm-rf container. Okay, once you press enter, it's gone, okay? Uh, I'm just going to cancel all of that for a second, though. I just want to demonstrate one more interesting, a couple more interesting things about this. You can actually uh, ch root into it, of course. So, best way to go to your super user and arch, just like you would ch root, but instead of dash mnt or something, it's container. And you do a pacman dash capital SYY, and it'll synchronize what's in the container. So, this doesn't have base to valve. Or multi-lib or anything like that as you can see here 
So you can install Pac-Man dash capital S uh, leaf pad or something. And we'll get out of that environment. Quit. Oops, sorry, it doesn't know what that is. And then uh, this line here, this, uh, you can put this into a batch while I imagine. Take out Firefox. And I don't know if it would accept uh, multiple commands, but just for now, uh, leaf pad. There you go. It says uh, untitled document on container. And October 29, 2015. And desktop on the root, you see? Uh, doc, whatever. And quit. It's closed. Now I'll open it again. I'll clear the screen. You can see file open desktop. There it is. So you can read and write just like you would. Okay, uh, so I think that's it. Like I said, there's more and more, much more stuff involved to, to running the, if you want to run system D, um, and spawn with more options and stuff. But, um, all I want to do is demonstrate that it's possible and it's not that hard to set up. Um, once you get through some of the jargon, uh, it's presented and it's probably not the best thing to be running Firefox as a process ID because you get, you try to run multiple containers and stuff. It's, it's probably not the best thing. However, uh, as I said, it's, it's out of interest and, uh, um, basically the system D is, uh, end spawn is pretty cool. So that should do it for this one. And thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.